Hi everyone, today we will talk about integration of princely states. We all know that British India was divided into what were called the British Indian provinces and the princely states. So earlier before independence, India was divided into two categories. Like one part was like British Indian provinces and the other part was princely states. The British Indian provinces were directly under the control of British government on the other hand several large and small states ruled by princes that were called the princely states enjoyed some kind of control over their internal affairs as long as they accepted the british supremacy this whole setup where the princely state enjoyed certain kind of autonomy this setup was called paramountcy or suzerainty of the british crown where the external affairs and the defense and all those matters of greater importance were handled by the british government all right so princely states covered almost one third of the land area of the british indian empire and one out of four indians lived under princely rule so this was the scenario before independence so what was the problem when it comes to integration of these princely states into india when india got its independence just before independence it was announced by the british that with the end of their rule over india this so called system of paramountcy of the british crown over these princely states would also lapse this meant that all these states as many as 565 in all would become legally independent the british government took the view that all these states were free to join either india or pakistan or if they want to remain independent they can remain independent it's up to their wish it's totally up to them and british government is not going to pursue them for any kind of strategy after independence what they are going to do so they are free to do whatever they wanted to do this decision was left not to the people but to the princely rulers of these states so people were not even considered when it comes to making these strategies after independence what the states are going to decide for themselves all the decisions were going to be made by the monarchy of those so called princely states this was a very serious problem and could threaten the very existence of a united india the problems started very soon first of all the ruler of travancore announced that the state had decided to remain independent and it is not going to join either of the countries out of india or pakistan the nizam of hyderabad made a similar announcement the very next day and rulers like the nawab of bhopal were also very much against joining the constituent assembly this response of the rulers of the princely state meant that after independence there was a very real possibility that india would get further divided into a number of small countries or in short if i say balkanization of india the prospects of a democracy for the people in these states also looked very bleak and dark and in despair the dream of united india of nationalist leaders of our country was in jeopardy in short if i can say that this was a very strange situation since the indian independence was aimed at unity self determination as well as democracy in most of these princely states governments were run in non democratic manner that is monarchy or despotic governments and the rulers were unwilling to give democratic rights to their population so this was a whole scenario back then after independence it was one of the biggest challenges for our leaders to make these princely states accede to india right so what was the government's approach after independence the interim government took a very firm stand against the possible division of india into small principalities of different sizes on the other hand the muslim league opposed the indian national congress and took the view that the state should be free to adopt any course they liked sardar patel was the india's deputy prime minister and the home minister during the crucial period immediately following the independence he played a historic role in negotiating with the rulers of princely states formally but very diplomatically and bringing most of them under the umbrella of indian union it might look easy now in hindsight but it was a very complicated task which required a skillful persuasion for instance there were 26 small states in today's odisha Saurashtra region of Gujarat had 14 big states 
119 small estates and numerous other different administrations you can imagine how difficult it would have been for sardar vallabhbhai patel the government's approach was guided by three pronged consideration firstly the people of most of the princely states clearly wanted to become part of the indian union secondly the government was prepared to be flexible in giving autonomy to some regions the idea was to accommodate plurality and adopt a flexible approach in dealing with the demands of the regions thirdly in the backdrop of partition which brought into focus the contest over demarcation of territory the integration and consolidation of the territorial boundaries of the nation had assumed supreme importance so these were the three pronged consideration or three pronged approach of the interim government led by sardar patel in terms of integration of these princely states before 15th august 1947 peaceful negotiations had brought almost all states whose territories were continuous to the new boundaries of india into the umbrella of indian union The rulers of most of these states signed a document called the Instrument of Accession which meant that their state agreed to become a part of the Union of India. Accession of the princely states of Junagadh, Hyderabad, Kashmir, Manipur proved more difficult than the rest of the states. The issue of Junagadh was resolved after a plebiscite confirmed people's desire to join India. We will talk about Kashmir in coming videos. In the next video we'll take the case of Manipur and Hyderabad. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. To watch more such content do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you.